uh, completed it recently, so I don't know if I'd have any problems with finding it, all the shit that's going on, so. Let's go to Dark Hollow. Hollow, hollow. Hollow, hollow, boy. Yeah. Uh, I don't even think this is the second level, to be honest. I think, uh, Cliff Town is. But you know what? I'm going to this level because I feel like it, damn it, so. Accept it and, uh, move on with your life. And yeah, the gems won't be that hard to find this level because it's a very, very small level. As opposed to the last one, which I just had some absurd problems with getting all the gems. I don't know. I mean, I could simply just get all of the dragons, but you know what? I'm going for 120% on this one. Yeah, there is 120%, which will, uh, you'll see at the end there, but <coughs> that was very, very classy, and, uh, yeah. I will not excuse myself for that, because, you know what, I'm a classy guy, and I want to, uh, oh, leave that you. shit in. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of it. Ah, alright. Yeah, so I used to pretty much refer to this level as the fat people level. Because, well, everyone is dangerously and morbidly obese. I'm sure they will have heart attacks sometimes in, sometime in the near future, so, uh, I am very sorry for them, so. In fact, this game came out in 1998, so they might have already had their heart attacks, so, uh, let's give our uh, condolences to all the Norks that have received heart attacks. Yes, the enemies in this game are called Norks, by the way. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Did I not already rescue a guy who looked exactly like you? Um, yeah, so another thing um, that I haven't mentioned yet, uh, the Noriks are actually monsters that were transformed from gems. Like, that's why you get gems when you kill an enemy, because of that reason. And uh, there was one gem that I missed here for like the longest time. I think it was the last gem that I received at the end of my other run of this game. It was right in, in between here, this corner right here. It was the one gem I could not find for the life of me for some reason in my uh, last 120% run. And I'm, and I'm not even tired of this. Like, I, I can stay with this game for a while. Like, I'm pretty... I, I enjoy this game a lot, but I've already said this about 30 times in the in the past 20 minutes, so it's kind of I should probably uh, do things or say things that aren't boring. So, so yeah, I'll have to do a lot of cutting. I'll have to make sure the commentary is still in sync, though. Otherwise, it might be a chore. But you know what? When you're a let's player, you have to do this shit. So. So, uh, yeah, if you want, like, I, I'd appreciate guests on this LP, uh, I think it'd be good with guests to do this particular game. I don't know, I always kind of feel lonely when I'm playing this game. I have no idea why, but it's just kind of has that atmosphere. Despite the fact that, you know, it's full of enemies and all, it's kind of a lonely feeling game to me. I don't know. But, yeah, I'd appreciate extra commentary, that'd be cool. So here, I think we're almost done this level, and, uh, Darius, I think there's a person... Big enemies like this Gnork with a club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Thank you for interrupting me, a person named Darius Rucker. That's an actual person, I don't know what he does. I think he's some lead singer of some band some alternative rock band from somewhere and he's black so it's kind of funny I don't mean funny as in but like you know black people aren't known for alternative rock music I, I don't know I don't know if I should have said that or not it was kind of it wasn't insensitive but it was different anyways if I'm correct we only have like we only have that chest left and let me guess, there's probably gonna be one freaking gem that is, um, somewhere that I will have to 
do another montage of. Yeah. I don't know how this game will look after when I'm done rendering it, so. Or this video. I think it'll look alright. Anyways, I think we're done. Um. Oh, it's convenient. It's right there. Alright. I think we're already done the entire level. I think we have all the dragons, right? Yeah, we're good. And if you notice the dragon eggs, they're also a thing that we will get into later on. But, yeah. I think I'll do one more level and I'm probably going to edit a bit, so. Or just render this, so. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah, so the next one we will go into is, um... It's, no, no. Town Square. Thank you, I could not remember it for the life of me. Well, then I did five minutes, five seconds later. I was about to say five minutes. It's like, no, it's not that long, come on. I think I already have, like, four parts worth of footage here, so... You know what, I think I'll go for the boss. As well. I will save the um, the flying missions, the flying levels, uh, you'll see in a bit, or I'll get to those later on, but yeah, um, the flying missions happen to be a pain in, the, in my ass, so um, I say my ass because I know a few people who don't have problems with those levels, but I do, so um, you know what, that's for later, so we'll get on to this. And also, um, for some reason, I recall being stuck in this one area. Like I would go up here, and then I would wouldn't not I would not for some reason realize that I can fly over there. Yeah, I was a dumb kid, so we all were. I'm pretty sure. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to R2. get a good look. Yes, indeed. Um, so this level's uh, kind of memorable. I think the first level I think of when I when I think of this game, it actually might be this one. I don't know. It's just me. In retrospect, it isn't that like standout-ish, but like this is kind of just what I remember the most of out of this game. I never did beat this game as a kid. I think I may maybe got to like World 2 or World 3 in some cases. I don't think I had a memory card for the most part. Um. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Yeah, if I uh, if I do a lot of. If I record like every part like this, I'll have this LP done in no time. As opposed to Sonic Heroes, which took, which took like a year out of my life, and I noticed I'm thinning, and I'm gonna blame that on that. Yes, I am thinning at 17. Damn. Well, anyways, uh, hair problems aside, um, bullshit. Get it? Cause it's. Balls, ah, ha, ha. I'm funny because I put a swear word in it, and swearing is funny. Alvar, Al uh, Avalar. That's not. That's the. Uh... Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down. I love this guy. Get that egg. Run, run. Yeah, I love some of the uh, dialogue. Uh, I didn't let him finish, but I love the dialogue in this game. It's quite funny. Um, from the dragons. Yeah, but as I was I was comparing his name to uh, Avalar, which is a realm in the second Spyro game. I I'm not even like on the fourth part of this, and like I'm already I'm already freaking bringing up like Spyro 2 about 30 times. So yeah, so what you want to do is make a jump, and uh, for some reason I did not know of this jump. And we have the thief. He is a dirty thief. And we can get all these gems, all these gems later. I just kind of want to focus on getting him right now. Okay, that was pretty easy, so. I think we have the gems on this path, and um, one more dragon to rescue, and we're about done with this level, and we'll be going to the boss stage, so. 
Oh yeah, this game, I don't know if it's my copy, because I don't recall this happening in any other copies of the game that I've owned. Technically, I don't think I've ever owned a copy of this game, because I've always either rented it, rented them or borrowing them, or borrowed them, but for some reason, it's probably the game that I'm most familiar with, despite the fact that I've never really owned this game technically until now. I own the second one, but that eventually got really scratched, and the uh, third one, I don't know what happened to my copy of that one, I think I, I might have just misplaced it somewhere. Probably in my old house, which is exists still, but, you know, that's in a different city, so, yeah. Grump. Grump. He's a very grumpy grump, and, uh, anyways, it's our last jam, I think, so we're gonna talk to Thor. Thank you for releasing me. I saw it. This is the third time I've saw it. I've seen you. You're the exact... You look... Okay, 200. We're done with this level, so... Yeah, he looks exactly like those other two dragons, which I can't remember. One of them was named Thomas, I think. 